what's up everyone welcome back to the channel thank you very much for tuning in to another video here on the uh podcast people where we take it from track side so i'm gonna give you an update on what took place uh on the men's side of things at the ncaa indoor athletics championship you understand so i'm gonna tell you uh, about some spills and some thrills that took place um well, basically, we only have uh, just one female result uh, to, 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 to talk about. And later on, we'll be giving an update on all things female. But let's just talk about this one because um, Lamar Distin, people, she lost the title. She was relegated to second, 197 meters. And Rachel Glenn of Arkansas actually equaled her. A record of 2.00 meters you understand so listen to me this is a it took a record to actually defeat lamar this thing so still have a big up um lamar for this outstanding um ncaa that she has been having i mean for her to lose a title she might be feeling bad but of course you have outdoor and then olympics coming up you understand so big things still in store for lamar this thing um and she's also in line for the bowman uh, she's also on that watch list rather uh the bowman's watch list you understand so everything nice still i mean the jamaicans had uh basically a what do you call it now up and down um session in terms of the men's side of things um it was like a wave you understand you're up and you're down you're up and you're down but congratulations to all the men who participated and we have a big result people in the high jump big result because this youngster continues to improve he continues to do well equaling his personal best Romain Beckford of Arkansas 2.27 meters and listen to me he's a freshman at Arkansas and he's doing exceptionally well you understand so big of yourself um um Romain Beckford on this outstanding uh high jump Per that you are you understand big up to the arkansas coaching staff because they are getting out the jumpers whether it is vertical or horizontal jumpers they are getting them to do exceptionally well in these events so big up to uh, romaine beckford on taking the title 2.27 meters you understand and then we move over now people to the shot put yeah man we have some shot put result and Roger Stoner, yeah, man, the former St. Diego High School athlete, uh, uh, did a massive personal best of 20.48 meters. But he was still defeated by a personal best from the freshman Tariq Robinson of Ohoigan, uh, 21.05 meters. So big up to Roger uh, Stoner on this outstanding achievement, uh, receiving the silver medal from a personal best. And it took another personal best to beat him. But nevertheless, he was among the medal. You understand? Again, Arkansas, Arkansas up there, people. You understand? Um, our boy Kai Chang of uh, Florida, he only threw 18.78 meters, and that wasn't it good enough to take him into the finals. But nevertheless, still more competitions to come. You understand? They have competitions to come. So the uh, triple jump is still in progress. I uh, don't think any Jamaican is in that, but we have the 60 meters for men. It was won by Terence Jones of Texas Tech, 6.54 in that one. Kalen Walker of Iowa, 6.59. Dondre Swint, 6.60. We have uh, Juan Yamakoy, 6.60. And Travis Williams, of usc 6.64 for fifth in the final so big up to travis williams for you know i'm asking some points there for his team uh fifth position i know that he probably would have been disappointed but this race was very close people very very close and uh congratulations to um the competitors in this one in the 400 meters yeah man everybody want to see if christopher morales williams would have actually broken the record in this time around you understand the freshman he sped to a time of 44.67 seconds to take the 400 meters ahead of ahmad robinson 44.91 of texas a and m you understand who is a junior it is also a personal best for robinson uh judson lincoln 
4557 uh, Virginia Tech and Javon Powell, uh, Jamaican of, from Florida, 4559 for fourth position. He was just edged out of the medal there uh, by Lincoln, the fourth. Uh, so big up to Javon Powell. Uh, Shamir Utah was also in this race. He finished sixth, 45.94. Uh, these youngsters continue to do well, and we look forward to see them outdoor now that they would have competed. On the 800-meter side, people, yes, 800-meter, Jamaica's Rivaldo Marshall of Iowa. Big up to Rivaldo Marshall, former Calabar standout, 146.96, the 800-meters title ahead of Sean Dolan of Villanova. Hey, you know, the Villanova always is a team that um come with the the the, the, the middle distance um runners. Them Sean Dolan wasn't enough though to take the title from uh Rivaldo Marshall. He was in second position, one forty seven sixty one, and the, the top three uh closing off the top three is Finley McClare, one forty seven sixty eight. Uh, Tyrese Roden of Clemson, another Jamaican, was fifth position, one forty seven seventy nine, and that was how it ended, my people. So congratulations to Rivaldo Marshall as he continues to do well uh, where this is concerned. On the men's 60-meter hurdle, Caleb Dean, 56 took that one. Texas Tech, Johnny Brackins was in second, 757. Uh, Jaquan Scott, uh, Scott, rather, Texas A&M, 759. And that finished off the top three. But our Jamaican, Jaim Hales, of Syracuse, he was uh, sixth in 7.73 seconds. And that was it. Uh, we understand that there is a protest in the men's 60 meter hurdles. So we're not sure if anything is going to be changing in that one. So basically, it was a good showing from the men. Very good showing from the men, my people. Um, yeah, they, 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 they went and they did well. If you look at it, the traditional events like the 60 meters, the 400 uh, and the hurdles and the 200 meters, we didn't, uh, the, the, the Jamaican men didn't factor in those, but we factor in a high jump, short put, 800 meters. It is a good look. It argues well for the future in terms of uh, the, 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 the spread that we are now receiving in other events rather than the sprinting like the uh 100 200 400 and so forth and the hurdles so it is a good look and continue to look forward to this uh kid romaine beckford to continue to do well rivaldo marshall is nicely rounding himself into a contender uh come outdoor and as he improved i'm certain that he will want to come to the national trials you understand so people big up on yourself definitely uh that's an update on the men's side we touched a little bit on uh the female side where lamar distin she was uh second in the high uh high jump but uh, we will definitely give you an update on what is to come in the women's section of things until next time stay safe